Hey guys, it is Saturday, Memorial Day weekend, and I needed to get this thrift haul done for you. So thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Miss Black Gold, and I appreciate you tuning in. I did a video on May the 4th that I published showing you a little walkthrough of Second Avenue Thrift Store. And I never got around to showing you the items that I actually picked up that day. And even since then, because that uh, actual Thursday that I shopped on May 3rd, um, I ended up then going to Columbia, Maryland like the following Monday and drove by 2nd Avenue that I never knew was there. Um, you know how you get your products from a store and you don't pay attention to the other locations that they have written on the outside of the bag. That was my, it was uh, definitely, that was my case for 2nd Avenue because they have right there on their bags the other locations. And I wish I would have paid attention because that Columbia 2nd Avenue thrift store was awesome. They had a lot of nice stuff. And for whatever reason, because Columbia is definitely a more affluent area than Laurel, it seemed like their prices were cheaper in Columbia. I mean, go figure. But anyway, let me show you what I picked up from Laurel um, based on the video that I uploaded on May 4th. I picked up this George Foreman grill for $9.99, if you see the price right there. And it looks really good on the inside. Barely used. You can see a little marking right there. But I'll try to clean that really well with a, um, I think a soap pad, a steel pad, excuse me, steel wood pad might scratch it. But we'll see what I can do. It may be more the cleanser than the actual what I use. Um, that day in Laurel was a... 50% off day. So I actually only paid $5 for this. 50% off of a yellow tag. So I paid $5 for this item. So that was excellent. I also picked up this $1.99 bag with two sunglass cases in here. But you wouldn't believe the type of sunglass cases these are. This is an Italian leather sunglass case from Todd's. And I actually saw this being sold on eBay for like $15. And let me show you how it opens. So it just slides open like this. Could be sunglass or eyeglass case. The Todd's cleaning thing is still in it. You know, Todd's is Italian leather. So love this. It looks really good on the inside. Barely used. I'm going to put my sunglasses that I bought from TJ Maxx in here. And then this bag for $1.99. Again, it was no discount on this, but that's okay. Um, this Max Mara, it's a satin case. But all these cases look so good. Look on the inside of this case. And the Max Mara cleansing, um, the little nice, you know, uh, microfiber cleansing cloth. Another nice size case to put your eyeglasses or your sunglasses in. Because I can tell you the case that they gave me for my regular prescription glasses, it's horrible. So I'll be glad to be able to put them in there. And another item I picked up, no discount on this for $1.99, but Love Tea. This was a holiday tea set nine pack. And let me tell you, this was just from 2017. So around Christmas time, 2017, I definitely don't mind getting these teas. And I'll read to you all the teas there are. Earl Grey tea, peppermint tea, lemon honey green tea, pomegranate tea, a pomegranate green, orange spice, jasmine, spice holiday, um, apple and cinnamon, and berry hibiscus. And most of these are either green or black teas. But I thought this was really cute. Love this set. And being that it's a nine pack, you actually get, it is 36, no, I'm sorry, what was it? Yeah, 36 tea bags in here. So that's great. 36 tea bags for two dollars another item which was my favorite find that day and i'm sorry i don't have the tape this was like wrapped up with tape so i guess the container would stay on top um it had regular clear tape on it but i only paid five dollars and 99 cents for this little KitchenAid architect food processor I'm, I'm so happy i found this if you look on the inside it is not um it's barely used you actually hit chop or puree there. I don't know if it was ever used. It just it looks really good. 
Let me show it to you all around. So I thought this was a great find for $5.99. And it's small. It's not a big food processor, which I don't have all that kitchen space. So this will fit perfectly in my little kitchen. And then another item I found. This was 99 cents. Now this was a shower cap. Can you all see the shower cap on this lady's head? So one shower cap in here for 99 cents. The company is called Andre. If I can find these shower caps, maybe in the beauty supply store, I will be so happy. It says made in China, but let me show you all. Now this is the shower cap itself. It is huge. And you know, it's hard for me to find a shower cap that fits all of my hair. So I love it, but look at this. This shower cap has like this ring around it so that you can, if you need to lengthen it for more hair or not, but it makes sure it stays secure. I've been loving this shower cap. Again, I hope I find, I'm able to find this shower cap again if it ever tears up. I'll be looking for Andre shower wear. And the last item I picked up that day uh, for $1.99. We actually got it for a dollar. My son has already taken one of these out and used them, but they're laces. They're gold. And I'll just take some out so you can see them. They're gold shoelaces. And he actually has some tennis shoes that are black and gold. So he took these. It says golden laces, champions wear gold, champion cross country. Um, he actually took these laces out and... Yeah, so they just say champion cross country day. He said, hey, I don't care. And they do. They look good in his shoes because his shoes are black and gold. So he um, was able to get three packs of gold laces for a dollar. Now let's move on to what I found and picked up from the Columbia, Maryland. Um, I want to say Dollar Tree. You know, I'm always ready to say Dollar Tree. Second Avenue Thrift Store. So let me tell you what was on sale that day. That day, yellow and violet, which is like purple tags, were 50% off. And then on blue and pink um, tags, it was just a third. So this right here that I got, this feather duster, which says $1.99. I actually picked up for a dollar because it was 50% off. Just a nice little pink feather duster. Could always use that. Dust accumulates every day so easily, especially like on electronics. Um, I could not pass up for $2.49. This is picture paper. So like for your copier, for your uh, printer at home. These are for pictures, so photos. So I was so glad to find this big pack for $2.49. I think these are like four by seven. Um, the paper you need for printing pictures. So actually I paid $1.25 for this instead of $2.50. What else? Now, pink. Let's see. Pink was just a third off, but a third off of the 99 cents. I ended up paying like 65 cents around, yeah, 66 cents for this. Um, but this is a Metallics. It's by the Board Dudes, a magnetic metal dry erase surface along with the cork bulletin board. So you see the cork bulletin board on this part, the dry erase on this side. It has a magnet two magnets right here that I could actually connect stuff to the magnetic dry erase board. But 60 something cents for this brand new. Coco did this y'all, messing with it. He was messing with everything on my bed just now. Um, but I thought this was excellent. 60 something cents for a nice dry erase board like this. This is the board dudes right there. So again, a cork, a cork and a, a dry erase board together. And I guess this could be hung any way I'd like. Another item which I was so stoked and happy about because I actually ended up only paying, um, I got 33% off on this. So 33% off of the $3.99. Look at this big old salt grinder. Now this was actually full with some white salt. Avery took it upon himself to dump it out, which is true. I wasn't going to use it in there, but I wanted to show you with the salt in it. Uh, but this big old salt grinder, all you have to do is unscrew this top, take this off, and you can dump out anything in there. Y'all know what I'm going to use this for? If you're Dollar Tree lovers or if you just you go to the Dollar Tree every here or there, those bigger Himalayan pink salt containers that the Dollar Tree had, I've had two that have broken on me already. And I haven't uh, wasted the pink salt in there. I just put it in another bag 
telling myself one day I'm going to find one of these. So I will be putting that Himalayan pink salt in this. Um, especially because I have more Dollar Tree Himalayan pink salt grinders. And if they break, it'll go right in here. But I just need to um, figure out a way. Maybe I'll just pour hot water in here one time to kind of cleanse it. Um, with some white vinegar and let it air dry just because I, you know I got it from the thrift store but I thought this was excellent and this is huge I love it and it's wooden I love that um, I ended up paying just what 33 and a third excuse me 33 percent off of this I keep wanting to say a third I should just say one third off um, but it was a dollar 99 originally these are wax melts I, only, I got 33% off for that. These are Morgan Child's Scented Wax Warmer Cubes in vanilla and salted caramel. They smell really good. So I'm happy I got those. Another item I picked up, 99 cents. I actually paid 50 cents for these. This is by Image Arts. They are thank you cards. And I thought they were very pretty. They're just silver and white, nice and plain. But it's always great to have thank you cards, especially for 50 cents. How can you beat that? The thank you card and the envelope. That was better than getting it at the Dollar Tree. You only get like eight thank you cards at the Dollar Tree. They're very plain, but they to me, they are very nice and simple. And then the last item I have to show you. Oh, excuse me. Two more items I have to show you. One is going to be a little hard for me to show you, but I'll, I'll get through it. Um, this creation case, now this was $2.99, pink was 33% off, so I had 33% off of this $2.99, but what a wonderful item for the kids. You get 147 pieces in here. I literally had everything but whatever this was and the scissors. Um, only thing that looks very used in my case was the paint. This creation case of Junior Artist Supplies, it looks the same on both sides. It just shows you what's in there. But let me open it up for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Let me put this back so it doesn't fall out. But, oh, wait a minute. Two markers are missing. And that's because the kids had to get this. I can tell you this was completely full. So here it is. And I think two markers are missing because of my kids. Matter of fact, I've seen these markers and didn't know where they belong to. Um, but now I know. Anyway, here goes the case. And if I can get a little closer, this stuff was barely used. The crayons, like I said, the paint was used. So for $2.99 and 33% off of that, that, this is great. And I'm going to look up and see how expensive these creation cases are. And then let me show you my last item that I picked up. And I'm sorry, I should have told you all. This came, the last item I'm going to show you actually came from my Laurel trip to 2nd Avenue when they had 25%, excuse me, 50% off of yellow tags. And this was a yellow tag. And this item was $24.99, but I only had to pay $12.50 for it. So let me, I got to move things around to even show you it. Here it is. I don't know what I was thinking about getting this for my son, but he beat me down. And I know, I know he's going to play with it all the time. All of them will. This big old bin full of Legos. You know, people will charge $100 for like this much Legos. And they've already been through this bin. They found so many different, It's more. it was more in here than just Legos. Somebody was a Star Wars lover and had every figurine of the Star Wars characters in there. They found two walkie-talkies. I'm just glad we didn't find anything that was dangerous in there. Um, what else did they find? And loads of Legos that weren't even open in, like, in plastic bags that come when you buy, when you buy these different um like lego sets the battleship and uh chima they had like a lot of these still in the plastic bags to be put together so it was great for twelve dollars and 99 cents it was great for my kids to find these and find these sets that they could put together so that you all was my thrift store haul i just wanted to show you that Enjoy the weekend. It's beautiful weather out there. Be safe. Have fun if you're traveling. And I'll be talking to you very soon. Have an awesome weekend on purpose. Bye, everybody.